everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Sorry, I have to close the window. Yes, today's the Bible title is 15, uh, 35 chapter, Jonah learned to obey God. Jonah, God sent a great wind, went to the sea, a violent storm of Ross and the boat was about to break. John, Jonah was in the boat. Jonah was running away from God. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh to tell them God's message. Jonah did, didn't want to go to Nineveh. He was on his way to Tarshish. The people on the boat was afraid. Jonah told them that he was running away from God. He said, throw me into the sea. Then God will stop the storm. People tried to row the boat and the land was useless because the storm storming wind and the storm the people threw Jonah into the rowing boat the people threw Jonah into the raging sea. Instantly, the sea became calm. God sent, a, sent him a huge fish. Slow, swallow Jonah. The big fish swallowed Jonah. Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to God in the fish, Please forgive me, I have sinned. The big fish sat out. Jonah on the dry land. God said to Jonah again, Go and tell the people of Nia. Then to stop doing bad things. This time Jonah obeyed God. He went to Ninvia. He told God's message and the people of Ninvia to the people of Ninvia. Chapter 36 A Right Offering Malchi People of Israel did bad things. They married for dinners. They didn't serve God. They didn't give red offerings to God. God wandered the people through Malchi. Worship God with all your hearts. Give rightful offerings to Malchi said God will punish those who doesn't serve him. God will give new strength to who does to serve him, obey God. Yeah, the wonderful story is finished. Now we are going to revise the wonderful story. Like, not reading this again. Like, I mean, I will like make the story. Yeah. First time God made the sun, moon, the stars, and everything. Then the the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, was to can do all of the things, but except they couldn't eat the fruit in the middle of the tree. 
and the satan, the snake, was tempting Eve and Adam. So they have eaten, and they were, they couldn't live in the. In the. Sorry. Oh, they couldn't live in the good place, and so many people were doing bad things. So, but except one people, so God said to that people to take all of each two kinds animal, one female and male, and many rain came. Many rain came, and God gave a gift and a promise that He will never flood the whole world. Yeah, Abraham didn't have any children, <laughs> and one day he have got the children and. He have grew a little bit. God was saying, kill him as a sacrifice. So he trusted God. And when he were going to sacrifice, the angel said no. So they were happily saved. God is always with us. And... Joseph has seven sons. They all hated Joseph. Joseph has held the king's dream, and the, Joseph became a high position, and he forgave his brothers. There are many stories. And God helped uh, Israel come up from the Egypt. And God helped them. God gave ten commandments. From the God's power, they have took over the Jericho. Samson was strong, and he didn't believe he didn't serve God well, so he didn't keep his promise. So he have yeah, and God gave him power one more time. Ruth, Naomi. And God. There are so many stories like we have read, right? Yes, there are so many stories. Okay, this will be London story. Like I will. Go on one story, and I will explain you this story. Oh, Ruth followed Naomi. This means their sons and his husband all died, so he was going. She was going. Naomi was going to his hometown. Hometown and Ruth said, "I will also follow you." And Ruth take good care of Naomi, and Boaz know that Ruth was a kind woman. So they have married, and God bless them. Yes, today I read the Bible story, and next time I will read New Testament. Yeah, that 
Let's see you next time. Bye.